Hi guys, and welcome to another video with me, Shira Star Hobby. I have a space theme going on here because this video is specifically about Tamak in Space. Um, they go by at Nothing Sapiens on Instagram. This all started when I first saw this photo of five beautiful full set dolls on their Instagram. They had posted it December 7th of 2020. And these girls in that photo were supposed to be for sale at L Doll 2020, which got canceled because of the COVID. So, of course, I was so intrigued by just that one photo. I went to their Instagram. I scrolled through a little bit to see, you know, what I could see. And next thing I know, I'm messaging them and, and asking, you know, if a particular girl in that photo was still available. And she was. Um, she's got the fair skin with the dark brown hair, and she had that little gem glued under her eye, and I just, oh. Now, we all know that is um, Ife, which is the same one that Allison just unboxed on her channel. If you haven't seen it, go check it out, because that doll is incredible. So I was, like, ready to go. I was pumped, you know, I had asked for a layaway. I was like, yes, I want this doll. And then I went to their website just, you know, to see more that I, you know, just to get more information. And I realized that she was an MSD size. And at that point in time, I had already said no to MSD sizes. I was happy with the one sixth scale. Um, they were more in my price range. I had already sold all of my MSD stuff. <laughs> so like a fool, I said, oh, MG, I'm so sorry for wasting your time, but I don't think I'll be buying this doll because she's bigger than I expected. So when I reached out to Allison and I said, um, I was just going to buy this doll, but I, but I decided not to. She's like, oh, I just bought... <laughs> I just bought the, the dark skinned one with the red hair full set. And so of course I have been anxiously waiting for her to open her Ife. Um, but anyway, so what happened? She, uh, she finally did her unboxing. Yay. And <laughs> it was like a smack in the face for me. I was just blown away by how incredibly gorgeous her Ife is, I just died. So I went back to their Instagram and I did scroll and I kept scrolling and I became to like just love everything about their dolls. All of them. <laughs> They're amazing. And so, of course, I messaged them again to see if I could get in on that spontaneous pre-order that they opened randomly because of Allison's unboxing. And they had said that the pre-order was closed. And I was like, no! <laughs> so, of course, I was just devastated. But, um... With scrolling through their feed, they have also photos of their new size doll, which they call, um, I'm not sure if, if there's a specific name because they call their bigger girls gals. And so this one is also called Gal, but she's definitely on a new body and she's a lot smaller than the original sized Gals. Um, and so I was like, well, if this is my only option, please put me on your waiting list for when they do open a pre-order for their new line. You know, I will definitely get in on that. And so um, I was just like obsessed with them 
looking, scrolling through their feed, like every day, every single day. And of course, I fell in love with one particular um, Naora 15 sculpt. And I said, I want this doll so bad. And I posted it in my Instagram stories and I said, just putting this out there to see if the universe complies. And then they messaged me like shortly after I posted that and they, and they were like, well, you know, if, if you're really interested, um, in, in this size, because like I said before, it was the size that was stopping me because she wasn't one six scale. She was MSD. And they're like, if you're really interested in this original size, we can add you to our pre-order um, you'll be the last order um, because they were sending out all the all the orders to their factory, and um, and so guys, I was just like, "Are you kidding me?" I I didn't even think that this was an option anymore. Um, they were gracious enough to give me the opportunity to add my order to their already long order list um, because I was just going on and on about how much she was, how beautiful she was and how amazing she is and how I'm, and how much I wanted her. So lo and behold, I have a beautiful Gail, Gal Naora 15, um, on pre-order slash layaway. Um, she'll be here in about a year, which guys, I'm okay with that. Um, and so, anyway, um, they are also holding a photo story contest. So, I, of course, am working on a photo story with Oscar because he is literally the only doll I have right now <laughs> because all the rest of them are at Face Up Island in Hawaii with Sheena. So, um, I hope that you guys enjoy this photo story. I wanted to put it in a video so that I can add extra stuff to the photo story because if you're just scrolling through Instagram, you don't get like the full effect. But, um, so this is my photo story entry. I will be posting it on my Instagram as well because that's where they're going to see it and that's where they're going to, you know, post it to their Instagram stories as well. Um, so far I think there's only maybe four entries and so if you win, you win a doll. Um, I'm not sure, you know, if there's like a limitation to which doll because the information in their post says something about, um, whatever's in stock or whatever will be a future pre-order. So if that is the case, um, you can bet your bottom dollar that my doll, if, if I should win, um, will be the new gal Naora underscore, who is the smaller version of my big gal Naora 15. So, um, that will be a dream because I'm planning on ordering her regardless whether I win or not. Um, and that way I'll have the original Naora 15 and then the smaller Naora underscore and they will be sisters and they will be amazing. So anyway, here is my photo story. Enjoy. Um, I will talk a little bit more at the end, um, of what I chose for my doll. So stay tuned.
So I really hope you enjoyed that photo story. I thought it was fitting because I love K-pop. Oscar is my K-pop boy. Him performing in space is pretty, it was a pretty, you know, I thought it was a pretty good idea. Um, I had wanted to try um, another concept, but I just don't think I'll have the time to get it finished. So I won't be entering twice. They did say in the in the post that, you know, if you wanted to do several entries, you could. So I love that they, you know, that they're letting people be like really creative with their, um, with their story ideas. But, um, anyway, um, I just wanted to show you guys, um, like the exact girl that I ordered, which, um, I've already shown pictures. She's the one that I posted in my Instagram stories, um, asking the universe to please let me adopt one. And thankfully the universe answered and, um, by the universe, I mean at Nothing Sapiens, they are amazing. I am so beyond thrilled to have been able to get in on this pre-order for these girls because they will be discontinued after this. This is it. Um, so anyway, I did, I chose Naora 15. She will be in the Mediterranean skin tone. She will have a medium free bust size. Um, I knew I couldn't handle the wild size. Um, even though it does look good on certain dolls, like Allison's Ife looks fantastic with that bust, but I personally don't like how wild it is because I know that getting clothing to, to sit right on there, unless it's made specifically for that bust, would frustrate me. So I chose to go with a smaller bust so that she could, you know, dress, you know, more casually um, when I decided to take her out of her... Um, her full set outfit, which by the way, I don't even know what will look like because I decided to um, choose artist choice and um, that way they can be creative with, you know, whatever they want to put her in. Um, but I did choose um, the makeup similar to the photo and the wig. I love that black, that white and purple braided long wig. Um, I really wanted that wig and of course I will be making wigs for her as well but I wanted like a full set something made specifically for her you know by the artist who sculpted her I wanted the shoes because Lord knows those shoes are amazing um, and so I, I just, oh, I am over the moon I am over the moon yes pun intended I love stars. I love space. I love galaxies. I love everything that has to do with outer space. Um, this girl will be so spoiled. I am already planning to build like a two part, um, space studio for her, um, space studio, space station, space apartment, space <laughs> something. <laughs> I mean, I am just Oh, I cannot wait for her. Um, as I said before, she will be, she'll be between 10 to 11 months, um, before I see her. Uh, but that's okay because hopefully that'll give me plenty of time to finish her diorama so that when she does arrive, I have some place to photograph her properly. And of course, um, when I, when they do open the pre-order for her younger sister, uh, funny gal Nayora, I will also be ordering her and, um, you know, that, that's why this, the diorama I'm planning on making is going to be that much bigger because it is going to be for two dolls or more. Um, and so, you know, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, you definitely should so that you guys can be here for her unboxing because it's going to be epic. Um, of epically spatial proportions. It's going to be amazing. I am going to adore her. I'm going to love her and I will cherish her forever. So um, thank you guys for watching. Please like, please comment, please subscribe. Um, there's more Dolly content to come. I've got dioramas in the works. I've got wigs I want to make. I've got um, 
lots of things planned. So, you know, stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.